Okay guys, I'm back in Karina Speed Drifters. So in this video, I'm going to kind of do like a guide for the new rally, season 30 rally, or you can say version 7 rally. First, I'll begin with the treasure tree. First thing you need to know, this rally is a bit special. You can pick the power up that you want to use and also cars that you want to use. So like there is LYR, there's EXA, there's ISOL and there's Starlight. You have to use 9 of these uh, treasure fragments up here to unlock one slot and you need 3 more to unlock its uh, upgrade extra benefit. The skills is what helps you in rally. So the first one is the plane. I recommend upgrading the plane. Okay. Second is the time hourglass. Also recommended. Third and fourth is... Okay, third is just crystal protection skill and the fourth one is just treasure absorption skill this two not so much okay not so recommended uh if you're just starting i recommend you to take the time hourglass first because this will help you increase the time and also it's safer to use compared to the plane and uh if you reach to the final upgrade that will give you two two of the power-ups eh? that's all for all eh? so if you reach the plane to the end you get two planes if you reach to the end here you get two hourglass <clears throat> so why i say the time hourglass is uh, more recommended if you are still beginning because plane will help you if you want to go faster in your rally but it's buggy if you use the plane too much like if you're doing in shortcuts or something you you really need to use the plane eh, for some shortcuts but doing too much shortcuts will also can trigger an error where it says cheating has been detected if you use too much plane that might trigger so if you want to avoid getting the error at all just use the time hourglass if you want to take the risk then yeah use the plane you don't need this anymore if you already upgraded the plane and the timer so basically just upgrade these two enough you don't need to upgrade the other two also never mind for car i recommend exa lyr is optional as well it's just that lyr feels a bit heavy compared to exa so i prefer exa and every nitro you get more and tank compared to lyr lyr increases too little so yeah i recommend exa originally it's sun wukong sun wukong is better but sun wukong is not even in gst yet so they change it to LYR. <laughs> yeah, this rally has left and right. The left area is like a forbidden area. It's so dark. You Most of the time you cannot see. You have to somehow memorize the road so that you know where to go. If you first time going in, you probably get lost. Most, most of the time you get lost. So if you want to play safe, go to the right. But once you already memorize the road, Try to go to the left and collect the treasures in there. The fragments so that you can upgrade your skills. But not only that, you can collect the purple... Um, these things. These purple things are uh, increases your power-up. Let's say you use up your power-ups. You collect these things, it will recharge your power-up again so that you can use it again. So it's useful for the plane and the time hourglass. Which I... That's why you should go more to the left so that you can recharge your power up they're called item energy points so you need to collect them so that you can use them again okay usually yeah when you reach a, a level where it has left and right so you will probably choose if you want to go to the normal road or the mine road track which is the dark area which has the, the treasures okay so this rally you can pick where you want to start and each of the levels has this uh, how many treasure fragments if you want to collect the treasure fragments they are in the dark areas here 11 to 15 26 to 30 and so on and let's say you don't want to take the mine road area just pick normal or the other option you can just deny the mine start so that you won't go starting at the left if you don't want to go to the left first huh? now we go exactly the rally itself okay so I'll start from the beginning of the rally and just run normally Okay, that was a run. I probably won't show the whole thing, I'll just explain the shortcuts. 
Okay, the dark area in 10 to 15, there's no shortcut box, there's no secret shortcuts, everything is straightforward, so I'll skip that. Alright, here's the first shortcut uh, you can do. It's not really a shortcut box, but uh, I'll just use plane to help you skip uh, going that way. So you can just straight away fly to 23. Okay, that's one, uh, you can say... Uh, skip lah, skip, skip a road, a, a little shortcut right there. Not really a bug, just skipping a part, but it's a bit hard to do if you time it wrongly. Okay, the first dark area here. So after that, uh, that item, I'm just trying to go for a shortcut bug, but I was blocked by this rail, so I was supposed to go more left. Eh? So instead of going there, this is another way you can do it. Just take the timer, extra time, and fall down the wall. So there's two ways to go through. You can skip the time, the 26, by going down the rail just now I missed. Or you can take the timer and fall down through the wall. That's the first uh, shortcut you can do. Second one is go to the right and double reset. Yeah, uh, this is a thing. Eh? This is a, a thing in Rally. Double resetting. Double resetting is a lot, a lot useful for reset box. Like that. That, that one was a... Uh, shortcut you can say by just uh, double resetting instead of double resetting you can just use plane but I already used my plane that's why I used the double reset instead to land here so far 30 until here everything is straightforward this one these things you don't really help you so you can just keep these things these things are not even shortcuts eh? By going up this okay i recommend for the plane uh, if you have only one use it right before you reach 38 it will skip everything okay oh, there's a delay sorry about that see even though the the duration is over it continues eh? if there if there are curves the plane will still continue that's the thing in rally eh? if it's not a straight road the fly will continue so I recommend fly a bit earlier for that part. Huh. Let me try that again. <laughs> I uh, time it wrongly. It's, it, it, Timing is important if you're trying to do a uh, fly, flying bug. Eh? I had a feeling if I use too many planes that might happen. God damn it. Okay, so my replay wasn't safe, so I'm just going to take a look at the recording itself just now. <laughs> Uh, I'm not gonna tr go through that again. Okay, so here's a shortcut you can do uh, by using the plane. Like this now, I show I fail. Eh? You have to fly when you're already reaching the rail. This is how you take the shortcut. You go here on the right here, uh, where I'm going, facing here. Go to the right. Once I'm about to touch the rail, if you don't touch, if you don't press anything, you get stuck on the rail uh, on an invisible rail. Okay, so that, this is where you fly, right here. When you already touch the rail, press fly to continue flying. If you, if you fly too late, you will be out of bounds and you'll be reset back to the back. So from here, you just press fly and you go through the wall. Okay, reaching 43. Usually if you are in nitro state, you will land around here. Okay, you have to turn right and then turn left again. And there's a there's a there's there's no railing, eh? so you can do a shortcut bug here if you dare to. You just keep going straight and reset. You have to press the reset, eh? or else you go out of bounds. And just to be safe, press it twice. Usually, if I want to be safe, I'll press the reset button twice. So the double reset is like a safe, making sure that I reset the right spot. Okay, but uh, I think you don't have to. You can just press reset once and you will be here. Just continue from here. 
So I think it's around 44 right here. If you see the map, you have to go right and then you turn to the left. Right. There is a way to just cut through and go to the left but uh, I don't know how to maneuver this uh, angle eh? Like you somehow can just drive straight to the left and you end up on that road But uh, <laughs> I don't know how to, yeah, like, I don't know how to actually adjust this so You can just do a slight drift and it's, it'll be fine If you don't want to do this risk Like I tried it but I failed yeah, last at UCU. <laughs> yeah, you, you can actually uh, go through that wall and you're still in bounds if you are if you land on the road. But I'm I'm somehow not able to do that. <laughs> I've seen I've seen uh, either Hisham or Rama did it when in QQ, but I I couldn't do that. <laughs> but if you can do that, yeah. Or you just want to be safe, use the plane. Okay, from 45 onwards, uh, it's pretty straightforward. Just follow the road. There's shortcuts to take. If you only have one plane, use it at 53. Because after 53, the turnings are very uh, narrow. So fly here and it will skip all these complicated turnings. Okay? Alright, starting 55, uh, this dark road is pretty straightforward. Uh, yeah, just follow the road. Just follow the road. Make sure to collect all the purple things so you can power up your top power up. <laughs> collect all of them if possible. Once you reach fifty nine, there is a reset shortcut bar, and this one needs to double reset. So right here, the railing is there. You can just go go that way eh? instead of following this road and go to the shop cut right here there's, there's a shortcut obvious shortcut right here but that doesn't really uh, help much you can you can just go the normal road so what you can do is just cut through all this and double reset like this so you can see from my run here I double reset because if I don't I will end up this is why double reset is important if you press reset one time you will end up somewhere else ah, it's too fast <laughs> but you can see I'm somewhere else and then I reset again, then only then I'm here. So double reset is important, okay? Just make sure you double reset if you do some uh, reset box. Okay, from here, if you're 60 onwards, you can fly here because it's hard to to do this U-turn and there's so, there's so many U-turns, right? You can just fly here. Okay, but if you only have one plane, maybe keep it first. If you have two planes, yeah, you can use one. The other plane, I recommend using on the other part eh? here you can use you if you want you can use you can fly right here so you can skip all this part <laughs> and then after 67 there is a shortcut you can do in the map the shortcut is a platform but you can skip the platform and just go straight to 68 going this way instead of going to the platform you just go straight to 68 by continuous to that side eh? Okay, up to 70 I can stop here, 71 I can explain from my, uh, the 70 and above is the serious part. Eh? Okay, so remember if you fly too many, too many use of flying, plus if you're doing reset bugs or something, it can trigger the cheating error. So like this is why I'm explaining here because I got the cheating error maybe because I use uh, plane because I think the plane is causing it uh, causing it to trigger cheating error but it's also because if you're skipping a level it causes the, the cheating error. So here's the shortcut I did. I did not want to take the main shortcut that I usually use so I took a smaller shortcut. You can do this shortcut. If you let's say um, let's say you can't tell where the platform is when you are falling through 71, you can go this way instead. Instead of going to 71, eh, you can go this way and just follow the road. But it's a bit longer, lah. But you want to be safe because you are skipping 72 if you are going the other way. Eh. So okay, when you got 72, there is actually a shortcut. You can just skip through these two platforms and you can just jump through straight to 73 but it's a bit risky most of the time I can't reach eh? but it's possible you, 
if you angle it correctly and if you fail uh, just to be safe double reset yeah, but I don't really have to double reset you can just reset and you are on this platform already and then just continue if you are not front enough you will reset to the back so make sure you are more to the front before you reset if you fail the shortcut straight here you can just go 73 there is a shortcut you can go to that platform and reset but uh, if you want to be safe just follow the road and go straight to 74 and yes there is a shortcut here too if you skip 74 or somehow, somehow you got 74 you fall down and make sure you let uh, land somewhere in front of the the ending road you can double reset and you skip all this uh, road but I wanted to be safe so that I will not get the cheating bug but still I got the cheating bug uh, okay and yeah there's, there's also one more if you fail the the shortcut if you cannot make it to this point let's say you fall from here and you cannot reach that point you can still do a shortcut but from here landing to this lane if you land if you fall down that lane and double reset you can skip this u-turn it's just a short a very small shortcut but uh, it helps a bit like it saves a bit of time uh, and yeah if you think all of this reset shortcut is a hassle just use the plane <laughs> okay it seems it's safe to fly here uh not not really here but yeah some after after 74 somehow it is safe to fly i've seen runs that where it's safe to actually use the fly power up it's just that we don't know where the fly power up triggers the cheating bug so yeah going flying here should be safe all right this is a shortcut i think most of you know you uh Skipping 78, 79 by jumping to the left. You're taking this jump and you go to the left. Make sure you're going this way. It's like you're going for that road over there. Once you reach that road over there, when once you're falling down, you don't have to press reset. You will reset by yourself. If it succeeds, you are over there. If it's not, you are still back here. Okay. So make sure you're falling this way, and it will automatically reset you right here. And you can use a flying power up here if you have enough time. If you uh, and also if you have another one, fly, use the fly power up here. Okay. All right. So yeah, until here I'll stop and I'll explain the the current rally that I the main rally run. Eh? I'll explain the the main rally run. Okay. Stop here for a while. So since you are starting at 70, it is starting with a straight road and you don't have nitro. So I recommend to do a double boost and then a catapult and then you can get a nitro. Another option is if you really want to get a nitro easier, start at 69 instead of 70. <laughs> so that you have an extra U-turn and then you can get a nitro. But yeah, if you can't just uh, okay let's just go in without nitro but it's a bit slower okay so usually i double boost snap boost and then heavy break so that i get a nitro and yeah cw okay so from here once you're in 71 make sure you are going this way eh? Make sure you're going here. Okay, oops. Okay, as you see, I break just now because uh, if I don't break, I will not fall down. So make sure you break. If you are using nitro, make sure you break a bit so that you will fall down. You want to fall down, and once you fall down, make sure you are aiming for these two platforms right here. So it's a bit difficult to guess where the road is, but once you play a few times, you get used to it. You know where to land. You want to land on these two platforms. So by going this angle, okay? You can slide drift a bit so that you won't fall down here. There's a gap there. Okay. 
Okay, this is optional. If you want to go to the second platform and reset, it's optional to do. But you do more. You'll do more reset bots. Huh? If you don't want, just go the normal way. Okay, so here's another uh, reset bug. I don't get the 74, but if possible, get the 74 as well. You slide drift down this road and fall down. Yeah, slide drift and make sure you're aiming for the road down here. So when you reset, you end up at the top here. And I double reset, eh? double reset so that I'll be here. If I don't double reset, I'll be at the back still. Here, you just go this way, just go straight. Same as before, you can take the shortcut right here. Jump the right angle. No need to reset, you'll reset by yourself. Uh, since you have two planes, you can use one plane right here. And I recommend to use, uh, make sure you have an extra nitro. Once you have two nitro, continue a bit before you, put, you fly. So that you will not uh, get stuck. So if you do it right, you will end up here. Once you are here, you are too fast and if you don't do anything, you will fall down in this part here. So I recommend braking and adjust a bit for this part. Okay. Here, you have another plane, use a plane. Make sure you have nitro as well. If you didn't have enough speed, you will drop here. But if you have enough speed, you will drop further. Right here. Okay. First uh, dark area, or second dark area. This one is straightforward, just follow the road. Try to collect this purple stuff to power up your power up. Watch out for the road. You can slide drift a bit here. And another slide drift maybe. Okay, right here. Instead of you turn and follow the road, you can just go straight and continuous. Go this way. Don't be too much to the right or it will reset you. And go straight to 80... Was it 88 or 89 down there? So yeah, this is a shortcut you can go for. You, there's two options. Eh? You can just fall down and fly. Fly is the easier way. But if you want to save the fly, use double reset box. So yeah, 88. Okay, so you can double reset. As you can see, if you reset one time, you will not make it here so you have to double reset only then you will be here okay then collecting this yeah make sure if possible collect all of these uh, power ups so here instead of turning left and right you just fall down straight down you can go left a bit so it's fine but make sure to double reset once you're on that road over there right here you can double reset already one two once you're here, do the same thing, collect the power up, take the timer and, and uh, drop down, double reset again. Just a bit to the right. Once you are, you are under this road, double reset. And then, before you go straight, possible, collect the power up as well. <laughs> this power up should be useful if you are playing two three player so that your friend will have uh, extra power up for you maybe not <laughs> because you probably won't use the plane at this point okay that's the tough part for that 
This one just follow the road, no problem. Here, um, well, I say you can fly here maybe, fly here and mix it with nitro, without nitro so can, you will end up at 93, but after 93 I recommend not flying at all, because flying there somehow triggers a chicken bug, so uh, yeah, just to be safe, I don't use my plane here, because of the chicken bug, that's why I don't use my plane. Usually the plane will land right after the shortcut. So once you reach 93, if it's still flying, I just cancel it. Be careful for this part. Eh? If, if you drift too early, you get stuck here. <laughs> okay, this part is important. I usually avoid this acceleration zone. Because if you hit the acceleration zone, you will not make this uh, shortcut bug. And uh, I recommend to nitro before you're doing this uh, shortcut bug. Because this shortcut bug, if you're doing it wrong, will trigger a che cheating bug, even if you don't use a plane. So what I do is, I see WW right here. I use my nitro on this platform and then go for the jump. If you don't use a nitro, you won't make this jump. So right here, I drift and then see the W so that I will make the jump. So go this way, you look at the mini map. Make sure you are aiming for this two uh, road here. If you go too far or too much to the back, uh, you might reset somewhere else. Okay, so I always aim for these two parts right here, these roads here. I aim for these two. And uh, yeah, it can reset you either at 95 or after 96 or maybe at 96. So this is important. Eh? Cheating bug will detect if you skip too many levels at once. Like from 93 suddenly you go 97. Like you skip four levels. That might trigger cheating bug as well. So I recommend... Uh, don't do this if you don't dare to, <laughs> okay? So yeah, there is an out of bounds if you go too fast in this road. So I'm falling down. I'm already falling down and it will reset me here. Here, it resets me at 95 still. But what you do, double reset. So once you are here, you double reset, you will suddenly jump here. This is after 96 already. So you're skipping 96 but you got 95. So if you don't get 95 but you suddenly here, you're still at 93 but you're here, you are skipping 3 levels. And then you go to 97, cheating bug detected. So yeah, that, this is a risk here. So you try not to... Uh, unless you can get 95 and reset here. The other option is you get 96 instead. If you land at 96 and then continue 97, it's fine. But if you skip all of them at once, you can be considered cheating bug. So be careful. So as you can see, I skipped 96, but I got 95. So I'm safe. And yes, uh, even if you don't do any of the, that, those reset bugs, using flying here also cause cheating bugs. So don't use any of the flying power up right here. I don't know why, but <laughs> it triggers somehow. Okay, 100. Um, I recommend also not to do any flying here, as uh, it might trigger as well. I, I don't. I can't confirm anything. You might be able to fly without any errors but yeah so far from what I use any flying here detected as cheating bug so I recommend not to okay there is actually two shortcut bugs you can do here but I only take one if you do both shortcut bugs here you will also get detected as a cheating bug because you're skipping too many levels at once okay like for example this is 100 if you don't want to do this U-turn, you can just fall down here. Fall down this way. 
and uh, double reset. Once you double reset, you are already here. So you are skipping 101. But uh, yeah, if you skip that and then you skip another shortcut, you I mean, there's two shortcut bugs here. If you're doing this one shortcut bug and then you're doing another shortcut bug, also detect the cheating bug. So I recommend don't do both. Do either one. That's why I don't do a shortcut bug here. So if you're not taking shortcut bug, just make sure you don't fall down. Collect the uh, power up so, so if possible. If you take a shortcut bug, you will land here. You can just fall down and fly. That's a shortcut bug you can do instead of uh, resetting. You can fly, shortcut and fly reset. But if you're doing this shortcut, remember, don't 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 attend the next one. So the next shortcut bug you can do is, uh, there's two ways you can do here. You can use this platform here to get the timer and ECU. We need an ECU for this shortcut. The other option is what you can follow what I do. Slide drift and ECU. ECU uh, is optional but it's easier because uh, it will guarantee you to reset here because you are already here now. You're skipping 102 and 103. But uh, yeah, without ECU, it's a bit tough. Eh? It's a bit tough to land here. So with ECU, it will help. Okay, then you are already going to 104. So you're skipping two levels for that. I'll show the second, uh, the other option if you're doing the other shortcut. Eh? I'll show that later. Okay, here if you want to use plane, also can so that you can just uh, should be fine. I don't think there's a cheating bug for using plane here. You can try, uh, but I rec I recommend to just uh, reset bug by just going going underneath this road and then double reset actually uh, not double reset so it's fine <laughs> if you just reset one time you also can both both can actually <clears throat> there is a shortcut bug here if you straight away turn to the right and jump that also works but it's a bit difficult to do so I recommend not doing that if you want to use fly and uh, also can just to make it easier usually I use fly last time but I don't use fly now because I want two flying power ups for the ending later so you can just do like this instead okay. all the rest is just uh, it's just straightforward there's no shortcut bug anywhere but try to go as fast as you can alright the final dark area is the toughest part of all so there are two ways you can do, actually multiple ways you can do here But I don't know if any of them triggers a cheating bug because uh, I never tested much here, it's hard to get here <laughs> You have to really get a good run and you got enough time to be able to test anything here So I took the option where I probably can do better here But I wanted extra time, that's why I went for the 116 instead so what you can actually do, you can just go right and use a flying power up or reset bug, okay, reset, uh, double reset, so that you will straight away uh, skip this, this turning and you'll reach in front here and then continue. That saves time but uh, I wanted the extra time just to be safe, okay. So what I do here is... I nitro and then I adjust my car a bit so that I'll land in this platform here so I'm skipping 117 if you don't know what to do usually you just use flying power up but if you use flying power up you don't even reach 117 because look how much you are going through to get to 117 you're going this here and here 
So I'm skipping all that and jump straight to this point here. Now this is important because uh, this is very difficult to do. I only managed like twice so far. Is uh, if you have an ECU, you can ECU straight to this shortcut right here at the end here. You have to be almost close to that road and then use flying. If you time too early, you will fail and you go backwards. Uh, so <laughs> yeah, this is actually a risky shortcut. It's risky because if you don't make it, you waste time and then you have to try again because you only have like what, 8 seconds left. So yeah, this is a risky uh, part. Eh? If you want to be safe, uh, just go left and fly so that you will save time. Af uh, fly after this point. After you reach this point, you fly. But yeah, I see you and fly. So skip all that. <laughs> Okay, this is the thing I didn't know because I think GSD's uh, plane is very fast because in QQ I need two planes for this, that's why I kept two planes because QQ you will need two planes to reach to the end from here this is one and then you will need to use another one but because of GSD's plane speed is 400, uh, is, is faster than normal you only need one plane so you can probably use another plane somewhere behind and you can use the last pin right here and then you will finish the whole rally yeah right after this point if you have a nitro you will finish the whole rally right after this point yeah 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 plane will stop here and then you finish okay <laughs> so yeah that is uh that is my rally run okay quite uh complicated but i hope it helps and uh yeah let me show the alternate way you can do if you don't want to follow my rally run or let's say you fail to follow any part you can do an alternate way <laughs> so I'll skip to that part Yeah, this uh, might be better. Okay, I'm not gonna take the risk here. Double reset just to be sure I'm at 95. <laughs> Oh, I don't have a plane, that's the problem. Okay, double reset. <laughs> yeah, it works. Okay, since I did that, I do, shouldn't do this 
Bon, qu'est-ce qu'on dit There's two reset bots here. One is here. Go straight. Double reset. Double reset. Eh, hey. ah, lost. Okay, I timed it wrongly. For that part. <laughs> Double reset here. I'm not gonna do the wrist here, just do the usual way. Plus I only have one play. Not enough time. <laughs> right, I messed up. Let's see that this triggers any cheating button. There shouldn't be. Ah, I wanted to show this part. <laughs> and damn it! <laughs> yeah, you can see it. Uh, this cheating has been detected error is a bit annoying even though I didn't really do much cheating but this this is a this is the problem uh, of uh, the current rally so yeah I recommend uh, if you really don't want to get any of those cheating bugs just don't fly <laughs> don't fly or don't do any well if you, even if you don't do any shortcut bugs you probably still get that uh, error and it's all because of the flying power up so yeah, don't fly too much, and uh, to be safe, don't fly at all. <laughs> okay, I'm not sure what triggered that. M might be the shortcut I took. Uh, I don't know, or it's just flying somewhere that triggered it. Okay, I think that's it for my uh, guide on the new rally. That was even 115, but uh, yeah, it's it's easier if you have more people. Okay. It's just more difficult if you're doing solo. You have to really run it perfect. <laughs> okay guys, so that's it for this video. Thank you guys for watching. See you guys next time.